Well, we have a bit of revenge sprinkled into day two's gas laden tactic. Let's just jump in and see what this one's all about. This one is actually called the gasp, not the gasp, but the gasp, but I'm still using the gas still in there, but version four revenge mode. Now, as you can see with the gas mort from yesterday, it was aligned on the right. This one is aligned on the left. The three attacking players are kind of up there, the two on the, on the front with one attacking midfielder on the right. So we'll see how it does for our three teams of Liverpool and Aston Villa in the Premier League and our championship side of Ipswich Town. Now, there is, there is some comments going back and forth in this. Someone asking, how do you do the balance mentality and when you do it? Basically, he's, the creator says, you change mentality to balanced if you're winning in the last minutes. Otherwise, I would go with attacking. Does the left wing back, is it like a DM position? In possession phase, he acts like a DM, so I'd use a player with good passing positioning attributes more than pace crossing ones that are more typical for traditional left backs, things like that. And as usual, as you go through this, once you click on this, don't just hit download, read through it, see how it relates to your players. Uh, and if it could work for you, if you have someone that you need, you know, that fast pace on, maybe this isn't the tactic for you. But in this case, he gives you some information. Definitely check it out and see how it works. But let's jump into the Premier League and see how our teams did. Well, somewhat similar to yesterday's tactic, Liverpool coming in first, but this time 101 points, 135 goals is phenomenal. Well above yesterday's tactic, only losing one, two, Tottenham nil three. Wow. Aston Villa, though, 106 goals is much better than yesterday's. 77 points is around the same. Well, just like yesterday's tactic, they get to the Carabao Cup final and they win 2-0, this time over Manchester City. So trophy number two, but... They lose out in the FA Cup fifth round to Tottenham again. But they have an absolute phenomenal run all the way to the Europa League final, 4-1 thrashing over Benfica. So overall, yeah, you screw up in the FA Cup, but this is still a pretty phenomenal season. Squad-wise, yeah, they're missing a couple of green, but not too bad, I guess. 34 goals for Jota, 31 for Salah, 30 for Nunez. There you go. Yesterday's did not have that kind of tally, but 21 assists for Salah and Trent. And then average rating Salah with a 7.66. That's what I'm looking to see. Switching over to Aston Villa, you can see they lose out in the Carabao Cup semifinals to Manchester City. But we got them in the end. But FA Cup final, they get to their 2-1 win over Chelsea. Very well done. And unfortunately, losing out to Fenerbahce in the semifinals of the Europa Conference League. Not very great there. So overall, it's not a bad season, don't get me wrong. FA Cup is phenomenal. Fourth place is not bad, but Conference League and Carabao Cup, eh. Yeah, I guess it's semifinals, but still, I'd like to see something else. Squad-wise, though, they look like they have about as many green as Liverpool did, if not a little bit more, but 37 goals for Diaby. Wow, 19 for Douglas Luiz. Assists, 16 for Dinia and Matt and Matty Cash and Leon Bailey. Wow, average rating Moussa Diaby, though, with a 7-3-4. Data Hub looks very similar to a lot of different tactics we've seen through the roof attacking. Very well done defensively. Goals per game 3.55 has got to be one of the highest ones we've seen. 0.87 conceded, 0.9 XG against. Aston Villa actually not doing too bad attacking wise either. Again, we've seen it time and time again, especially if they're in fourth place. But defensively, they really do need to pick it up. But this is kind of the average mark. 2.79 goals for, uh, per game, though, for them is pretty nice. 1.24 conceded, 1.25 XG against. They really need to clean up that defense. Premier League stats, though. Liverpool with a whopping 2.66 points per game. Aston Villa with 2.03. Most goals, Liverpool with 135. Very well done, Aston Villa with 106 in second. Well above Tottenham in third. Viewer shots against Liverpool with 251. Aston Villa with 364. Most possession, Liverpool make the list with 55%. Dribbles made, Liverpool with 670, 610 for Aston Villa. And then Aston Villa do make the list of most tackles, one with 865. Best pass completion not there. Most shots for Liverpool in first with 781, Aston Villa with 647. Jumping straight into the championship, you can see 149 goals for Ipswich Town. Wow, 112 points. Not too bad. Schedule-wise, they got to the quarterfinals just losing out to Manchester City. That's still pretty nice, beating the likes of Norwich, beating the likes of West Ham. You do get to the FA Cup fifth round, but you face Arsenal. What do you expect? One to two loss there. So overall, I mean, it is another fantastic championship season. First place, automatic promotion. FA Cup, not about standard. I mean, it is Arsenal. The Carabao Cup, you got pretty far there, so that's pretty nice. And squad-wise, look at the green. That is phenomenal to see. You don't see that every day with Ipswich Town. But 35 goals for Hurst is also pretty nice to see. 19 for Connor Chaplin. Assist 22 for Harry Clark. 12 for Leif Davis with only 34 starts. Satisfied, though. 
Average rating, Harry Clark gets a 741. Championship stats, 2.43 points per game for Ipswich in first. Very well done there. Most goals, 149. I mean, that is insane. Fewer shots against, I mean, it's not the tops we've seen, but it's still insane. Fewer shots against it in second with 356. Most possession in seventh with 53%. Most dribbles made in fifth with 728. And most shots were in first with a whopping 899. They just needed one more. Come on. But now, taking a look at the tactic itself, we start out with a sweeper keeper in defend. We got an inverted wing back in support on the left. A fullback in attack on the right is almost kind of flip flop from yesterday's tactic. Ball playing defenders in the central spots. A DM in support. A Segunda Volante in attack. I mean, these are definitely swips, uh, flip flop there with a winger in support this time around. Inverted forward in attack. You got a pressing forward in support and an advanced forward in attack up front. Attacking mentality, again, move it to balanced if you are winning in the last couple of minutes, but right now attacking is where you should be. Attacking with his narrow approach play is passed into space. Focus play down the left and the right. Passing directness is shorter. Tempo is higher. Low crosses and run at defense. In transition, counter press, counter, distribute quickly and roll it out. And out of possession, a high press line of engagement, a much higher defensive line, trigger press much more often, prevent your goalkeeper distribution, get stuck in, step up more, and invite the crosses. So now, how did it do for our three teams? Yeah, pretty well. Now, again, this is very, very, very similar to yesterday's tactic. They are two different creators. I don't know if they saw each other's and, you know, saw one worked and created very something very similar after that. But it is using the backbone of what FM24 seems to like when you want to win. So it is using that. It is using a very similar structure, kind of shifted. Um, you got the inside forward instead of another, you know, stri a striker up there. But overall, this one definitely worked. It switched out doing a fantastic job. This one actually, in this, in these two saves at least, worked. This one worked better than yesterday's. But. Uh, again, if you have three strikers that you could throw up there, try out yesterday's tactic. If you don't and you have that inside forward, definitely throw up this one. But Liverpool, a fantastic job, definitely. Aston Villa, average point mark, fantastic goal tally. But these two saves, they worked fairly well. So if you used either of these tactics, please let us know in the comments below how it worked for you, what you changed, how you would change things, maybe some players to bring in. But yeah, these two seem to work fairly well. But that's it for me, Seven FM, for the Football Manager Blog channel saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy. Yeah.